The Greatest Man-Made Wonders of the World, Part 2. Ancient Hellenic travelers created the earliest lists of the seven wonders of the ancient world more than 2,000 years ago. These wonders, with the exception of the Great Pyramid of Giza, are extinct. They were obliterated by earthquakes, fires, and in one instance, a vengeful mob. Since then, numerous other lists of incredible structures have been created. Welcome to Best Wonders, where today, we'll be showing you some of the greatest man-made wonders in the world. But before we continue, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you get more videos like this. Now, let's move on to the video. Number 12. Buddhist Stupas of Sri Lanka Stupas, also known as Dagibas and Setias, are regarded as one of Sri Lanka's most notable examples of pre-colonial architecture. In Sri Lanka, the field of architecture underwent a number of changes as a result of Buddhism. Among these changes, the stupa commands a prominent position. Other names for the stupa include Chaitya, Degaba, Thupa, Seya, and Vihira. The largest brick structures known to pre-modern man are stupas designed and built in Sri Lanka. The stupa, described as a hemispherical dome topped with a spire, is the oldest structure discovered in Sri Lanka. Number 11. Palace of Versailles A former royal residence called the Palace of Versailles is situated in Versailles, France, about 12 miles to the west of Paris. The public establishment of the palace, museum, and national estate of Versailles has been in charge of managing the palace since 1995 under the supervision of the French Ministry of Culture. The palace is owned by the French Republic. The palace, park, or gardens of Versailles receive 15 million visitors annually, making it one of the most well-liked tourist destinations on the planet. However, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, there were only 2 million paying guests at the Chateau in 2020, as opposed to 8 million in 2019. Foreign visitors, who make up 80% of paying visitors, saw a particularly sharp decline. But now that the world is going back to normal, we can see an increase in tourists. Due to the palace's significance as the epicenter of French power, the arts and science in the 17th and 18th centuries, UNESCO named the palace and park a World Heritage Site in 1979. The palace, its gardens, and some of its ancillary buildings have all been added to the French Ministry of Culture's list of historically significant monuments. Number 10. The Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge that crosses the Golden Gate a strait that separates marine country to the north from San Francisco. The bridge was built over a period of four years, and it was finished in 1937. When the Golden Gate Bridge was finished, it had the longest suspension bridge span in history. It is now regarded as a representation of California around the world. The bridge's well-known red-orange color was specifically chosen to increase visibility through the dense fog that frequently envelops it. Number 9. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is the world's longest man-made structure, spanning 15 provinces and autonomous regions in China. It was constructed over the course of six Chinese dynasties as a defense against invaders and is made up of various individual sections of walls and moats. Some of the wall's remaining pieces are in ruins and are now well over 2,000 years old. It's interesting to note that it would take a person about 18 months to walk the entire length of the Great Wall of China. Number 8. Hagia Sophia Hagia Sophia, which has been a magnificent sight to behold for almost a thousand years, once held the title of largest cathedral in the world. Hagia Sophia was initially constructed in 537 as an Eastern Orthodox cathedral when Istanbul was still known as Constantinople. It later changed its status to an Ottoman mosque in 1453 and is now a museum open to people of all faiths. 
the Hagia Sophia's dome is a wonder unto itself, and the entire structure is a perfect example of Byzantine design. With its intriguing murals and intriguing artifacts, the building allows you to piece together the history of the city as you walk around it today. Number 7. Himeji Castle The Himeji Castle is regarded as the finest example of Japanese castle architecture currently in existence. It was fortified during the feudal era to protect against enemies, but it has been rebuilt numerous times over the centuries and now reflects various design eras. It endured World War II bombings and is frequently featured in both domestic and international movies such as the James Bond film, You Only Live Twice. The castle has the moniker White Egret Castle because of its all-white exterior and architectural features that resemble a bird taking flight. Number 6. Ifugao Rice Terraces When visiting the stunning Ifugao Rice Terraces on the island of Luzon in the Philippines, Photographers should bring a lot of memory cards. Rice has been grown on terraces that resemble the Cordillera Mountains for more than 2,000 years. The area surrounding Banaue is home to the most well-known ones. They were made without the aid of contemporary technology by the Ifugao ethnic group and are still in use today. Number 5. Lalibela Churches the city of Lalibela in the Ethiopian highlands is home to 11 amazing monolithic churches that were constructed by King Lalibela to be the New Jerusalem. Between the 7th and 13th centuries, these were cut into the living rock from the top down and the complex network of tunnels and passages connected them. Given how precisely it was carved out of the mountainside, the Church of St. George is unquestionably the most impressive of these. The church, which is built in the shape of a Greek cross and rises 40 feet above the ground, is filled with incredible works of art. Number 4. Leshan Great Buddha In western China, a cliff face was chiseled to create the enormous Buddha statue known as the Giant Buddha of Leshan. The statue, which took the work of thousands of sculptors and workers, was started in the Tang Dynasty in the year 713 but was not finished until the year 803. The Leshan Giant Buddha, the largest carved stone Buddha in the world, is mentioned in poetry, songs, and stories. The sculpture has 11-foot-long fingers on each of its enormous resting hands and is approximately 233 feet tall. Number 3. Machu Picchu the Inca civilization before the arrival of the Spanish is magnificently represented by Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, which is tucked away in the Peruvian Andes, served as an imperial palace, a fortress, and a place for religious rituals involving the offering of human sacrifices to the gods. The location was unexplored by the Spanish and left after the conquest before being discovered by an American professor in the early 1900s. The city is a fascinating example of traditional Inca architecture and was constructed from polished stones. Machu Picchu is the most popular tourist destination in Peru due to its breathtaking views. Number 2. Minakshi Amman Temple The impressive Minakshi Amman Temple was built in the 6th century, though the majority of the current building dates from a thousand years later. It is a Hindu temple. It is the most significant temple in Madurai, a city with a history of more than 2,500 years in South India. Intricate carvings both inside and outside. The temple has 14 towers in total. Each of them is devoted to a different deity or person. The statues on the towers were once plain, but over the years, during festivals, paint was added to them, resulting in the riot of color that is now visible. Number 1. The Moai Statues The Moai statues on Easter Island in Polynesia are famous, with the tallest weighing more than 80 tons. In fact, even if you've never heard of them, you'll probably be able to identify them from a picture. Between 400 and 1500 AD, the Rapa Nui people carved more than 800 statues from volcanic ash, the majority of which look away from the sea. 
Each of these enormous monolithic statues would have taken close to a year to complete and was probably built using crude basalt stone picks. There are a number of theories as to why they were constructed, including the idea that it would improve the soil and serve as a way to honor significant clan ancestors. Which wonder would you like to see in person? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for more of the world's best wonders.